First of all, there's a push to diagnose very early so appropriate treatment can be used. Secondly, there's not a good understanding of the 2017 revised McDonald diagnostic criteria, which are the formal diagnostic criteria. They're actually quite useful. I think they're quite easy to understand. We need to be using them on a regular basis. Thirdly, there is a true misdiagnosis rate. So the diagnostic criteria are not being applied. And I think this argues for a very robust workup and being aware that people are being told they have MS and they don't. And there's actually some harm being done. So I think the diagnosis, everything starts with diagnosis and we need to take it very seriously. One key is a thorough, robust workup. That means you create a differential diagnosis, you do appropriate blood work. For example, anyone who is presenting with possible relapsing MS, I believe you need to check them for IgG to aquaporin-4 in the blood. You need to check them to, for IgG to MOG in the blood to rule out a seropositive NMO spectrum disorder and MOGAD, MOG-associated disorders. That should be routinely done. We need a robust workup. They need MRI imaging, not just of the brain, but I believe of the cervical and the thoracic spinal cord, the other part of the central nervous system, actually imaging down to the conus. And thirdly, our center routinely lumbar punctures. We look at cerebrospinal fluid. We're looking for CSF oligoclonal band specificity that's independent of the MRI pattern. It is extraordinarily helpful to assure that you have MS and not another diagnosis. So I think a thorough workup laboratory evaluation is key. 